Hello people of YouTube. Not very long ago I was given the gift of a Craftsman tool stand. When I say not very long ago it's probably been close to a year. But I, I made a video of putting it together and it turned out really nicely and I want to get more. I mainly want to get one for my scroll saw over here. Kind of a mess back here right now. The tool stand that I was given is a nice tool stand but it's rather large. For the scroll saw I don't need as big stand. What I did is I went to Harbor Freight and picked this guy up. It is a smaller, it's a more narrow tool stand but from what I can tell it's very similar to the Craftsman one that I've already got. I'm very curious how the quality compares as far as the sturdiness of this metal compared to the other stand that's right over there. No better way to find out than to crack it open and examine it. Here we have it. Heavy duty central machinery 29 inch tool stand. Directions, I've joked before, Harbor Freight directions are often not the greatest. Got it all finished. Well, got the table put together. <clears throat> it took some time of adjusting and tightening and redoing. I put it together loosely at first because I wanted to make sure, wanted to try and get everything straight before I tighten it down. And one thing that's different between this and the Craftsman. <clears throat> The Craftsman table that I have over here, aside from this being a smaller footprint and more narrow, instead of adding a board to the top of it as you would with the other, this one actually has holes so that you can bolt the tool, whatever it be, may be, a, a scroll saw, belt sander, drill press. Uh, so a bandsaw, you can bolt them directly to this without the need of a board. So I'm just going to mount it on here directly, which took some playing with and adjustment because if you can see right there, the ends of the table have three different slots that you can choose from. On the, on the long end and then the shorter end has two different slots and so essentially 
you can adjust this add it to whatever slots that you want to make it longer or shorter or wider or narrower and I'm assuming that's depending on the tool that you have and the footprint of it. it took me a while of playing around and taking the parts off and, and put them in different holes to find out the size that I think is going to work best for me this bar I believe is for added support but the tool that I'm using the scroll saw that I'm using is long enough it doesn't have support or have places in the middle to mount which would probably be like if I was going to put my drill press on there it only has two screw holes and they're towards the middle so this would be more useful in that situation whereas the scroll saw I have is going to have a big footprint so but I put this in there anyway just for the integrity and structure or structural integrity to keep it from flexing too much now it's a matter of flipping it over and mounting a tool on it. Got it mounted onto the table, plugged up, and let's see if this thing shakes itself apart or what happens here. Much nicer. I'll be able to do more now that that's not walking all around the table. One Harbor Freight Central Machinery heavy duty 29 inch tool stand pros and cons pro slightly cheaper than the craftsman one cheaper to assemble you don't have to buy a board to bolt to it so that's less money you'll have to spend another big pro for me is the footprint it's not as wide so it takes up less room this guy over here is great but it's very big it takes a lot of room it works great for the tool that I have on it. The router table takes up every bit of that room. I can't imagine trying to put that on this. This, however, is just a small scroll saw. And I did, I have other tools I could put on it. I have the bandsaw, the drill press, the belt disc sander. I chose to start with the scroll saw because, well, for one, it vibrates a lot more. And with it vibrating and moving around the table, that wasn't going to work. Of course I could have just found a way to bolt it over there or built a small box to steady it but the other reason that I chose to, to do this setup is I can at some point get a short stool and set it in front and then I can just sit down and concentrate on what I'm doing rather than standing this tool stand is sturdier than I expected that's good the con though they just barely give you enough nuts, bolts, and screws, which isn't the worst thing in the world. The Craftsman or just about anything else you buy and put together yourself, there's usually one or two spares thrown in there in case one goes missing, which is exactly what happened. One of the washers fell and I've yet to find it. And quite honestly, it is like a week later since I started putting this together. I, and I had to go find another washer. Not the worst thing in the world, but there's that. I'm nitpicking. Another con is it doesn't have the ability to level it. The feet are just rubber feet. With the Craftsman one, it had little adjuster feet that you could screw in and screw out and lock down so that you could level it on whatever surface. Now, I'm working in a basement. So at one side of the basement is a drain hole. That way, any water that's in here won't just stand. It will head in that direction. So the floor is not level. It's got a slight tilt. The Craftsman one comes with the ability to put casters on it so you can roll it around. The way the feet are designed on the Craftsman one, instead of putting the little adjustable feet in, because it's a plastic triangle, triangle, it's a plastic triangle that slips on, has a hole in the middle for the adjuster foot. You can easily take that out and put casters on. With the Harbor Freight one, that's not, that's not there. It's just a strip of rubber that goes on the bottom. So, if you're putting it in one place and keeping it there, sure, 
time. So moving around is going to be harder with the Harbor Freight. In reality, moving either this or the Craftsman one around poses a danger of, of accidentally bending it and doing damage. The Craftsman, Craftsman one also has a bigger bottom frame so that you could easily, and it has holes in it, so you can easily put another board down there for another shelf or even close it in to make a cabinet, which my brother has done. The Harbor Freight, the bottom supports are much thinner. They don't have as wide a lip to set a board on. You could do it. It doesn't have a hole already in there to bolt it down. You could drill one. Another con, the height is not at all adjustable. The width is, which is something the Craftsman doesn't have, but the Craftsman is much larger, so why would you need to? The Central Machine Harbor Freight one is slightly adjustable, which comes in handy depending on how wide or narrow your tool is to line the holes up. The height is not adjustable. The Craftsman has adjustable height, so you can make it a little taller or a little shorter depending on how you mount the legs. Harbor Freight one, no, doesn't have that at all. Another con, the Craftsman did have the bolts or the nuts with the little nylon inside so that they lock. They won't come loose. Harbor Freight one doesn't, doesn't even have lock washers. Having said that, having put this together, I think I may very well in the future buy more. Ultimately, it would be kind of nice to get some of these other tools like this top heavy drill press or maybe even the belt disc sander mounted on something like that. And just like the Craftsman one, they don't include bolts to hold the tool down. They just include bolts to build it, to build the frame. If I've left anything out, which is entirely possible I did, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I thank you for watching and stay creative.